Hello, sweet, beautiful souls, and welcome back. We are diving into 2024. This is going to be a message, a channel message for this upcoming year. And whenever you tune into this, it's going to be absolutely perfect, exactly what you are needing for this really expansive, really abundant, really beautiful year. Um, I'm going to be reading a channeled message so we can have a little bit of a taste of some of the energies to come. Um, if you're watching on video, you will see we have um, a different background, uh, which is really fun as I am traveling for the holidays. Um, but as I tuned in this morning and asked the guys what we need to know for 2024, they brought forth some really beautiful messages. And um, I'm really excited to share this because I think that the more that we can anchor into our truth, into our knowing, into like energy is speeding up a lot. <laughs> and what I keep seeing as well is like this gap is being closed of, or rather the window is getting shorter and shorter of like, we either get on the path to ascension or like you just, you choose, you choose. Do I want to stay here? Here, I say here, we're not really going anywhere, but this new earth is being birthed right before our eyes and we're all co-creating this together. And so do we want to continue to co-create this beautiful new earth or do we want to stay in this realm of lack, limitation, um, and really hold on to what we think we know, but that's going to limit the magic, the miracles, the abundance, and really the truth of who we are and what our soul came to experience here. So I'm going to read this channeled message, and I just really invite you to take a deep breath, tune in and allow it to be a transmission to guide you on not just the mental level, but the energetic and somatic level. And so just inviting you to take a deep breath, receiving these words, this transmission, because really this is, the words are for the mind, but there is a far deeper encoding within the message um, on a vibration, vibrational and frequency level. So receiving that essence and all you have to do is just agree and allow. Um, this is only here to support you in your highest ascension, your highest growth, your highest truth, your highest love, highest activation of your heart. And so with that, let us begin. And so to breathe in 2024, what we wish you to know for yourself and for the collective. This is a divine emanation taking place, a tipping point, which many of you have been feeling. And so as you approach this new year, it's almost as if you're entering into a new decade. For a realm, a new realm will be birthed, one which will show you your personal power, your personal will, and your truth as God's source creator. To come into an awareness of evil in the world serves a purpose. But to now move to a level where you see beyond the evil as bad and as something and, and to see it as divine opportunity. This does not mean to spiritually bypass, but rather to progress to a level which you see chaos and destruction and can still hold inner peace, strength, and sovereignty. This means you know your job as a light worker, leader, and guide in this ascension. And so you see your role is clear. This may mean you help in various ways or support others who are helping directly. But to simply indulge in fear, chaos, sadness, and suffering does not serve the overall collective ascension. So what will be taking place is a splitting off a splitting away and a breaking away. For as you claim your power and truth, and for as you claim your power and truth more and more, you now no longer feel the lower densities in the body as strongly or intensely. For you see them too as God, 
here remembering God. As creator here to bring his children into unity and harmony. And sometimes this is done through breaking up the stagnant energy and addressing things by bringing false light to the light. And so now, with this out of the way, we invite you into a vibration of creation, of will, power, strength, and love to be made manifest here and now. This year, abundance of love, strength, power, and creation. To see yourself as creator, creation, and a force of the cosmos. This will mean for many, relocating to where you are needed, doing work that you may have not previously envisioned for yourself or your line of work, but you will see later as to how and why this is the exact preparation for what you need for your mission to come. This year is about go time for your mission and preparing for your mission wherever you find yourself on the spectrum. The gap is closing and so now you must choose the path of ascension or the path of staying asleep and holding yourself back in the realm of limitation and unlimited experience. For now, the angelic teams, guides, and spiritual assistance is greater than ever, stronger than ever, and here to help you in a way like never before. This does require you to ask. For these benevolent beings do not wish to infringe upon free will. For there is a lesson always being made when this is happening. So unless you ask for guidance, support, they cannot help you. And conversely, should you harness this support by asking, by calling forth and allowing divine support to come, you can expect to see miraculous things take place in your life. This is what is available. A life truly laced with magic, miracles, and divine satisfaction. To know yourself as having within you the most powerful love in all of existence sitting within you. And so then the only question lies, what will you do to discover, awaken, cultivate, and bring this into your existence? This is the question we ask you. For if there's one practice which we could bring forth as guidance as to all we are sharing, it would be this, fan your flame. However, this is going to look different for each individual. This will be different for everyone. And we encourage you to find your unique way, and to be open to your unique way, shifting and evolving as you shift and evolve. For it should and it will. And as you find your unique way of fanning the flame and cultivating and remembering your inner power, you are cultivating and remembering God in the body, merging mind, body, and cosmic soul here on earth, here birthing into the new earth. And so fanning the flame may be through meditation, through writing, through singing, dancing, or play, through yoga, art, or immersing yourself in nature, through doing things that challenge you and your growth, through practicing tuning your channel, your truth, and your heart. This is how you fan the flame. Bring others along in your journey. Share your journey. Use these modes of media in ways that inspire and awaken you. For as you do this, you continue to raise the frequency of these mediums and thus creating a place and a portal of light for others. For light will always overturn the dark, always. It will always outshine darkness. 
take this year above all to cultivate your power and do whatever it does, whatever it takes for this to take place. This may mean moving, quitting a job, letting go of people in your life, or putting yourself in situations that make no sense to the mind, but that your heart and soul guide you to. Follow these, and you will be richly and abundantly rewarded. And lastly, you are moving into a time where thinking your way through things will no longer work. It has always been the harder way, and now it will be increasingly so. For to use the brain to try to make decisions to guide your life will end up in dissatisfaction. But to use the heart and use your physical senses and what psychic senses are unique to you will lead you to true fulfillment, true love, abundance, and magic. This is what you're being asked to learn, trust, and follow. This sounds fun when talked about the following your truth, the following what lights you up. But following this path will not always be easy. For it doesn't always make logical sense. But the more you learn to trust in the body, the heart, and your inner guidance systems, the more you will be richly rewarded, the more you cultivate your inner power, the more you fan the flame, and the more you are birthing heaven on earth, bringing down this existence into reality. For you are all co-creating this reality, this new earth. And so while your vibration is the most essential to your life, you too send this out and allowance for others to enhance and experience it along the way. This doesn't mean that others will always make you feel good. Sometimes others, to enhance your experience, will trigger and challenge you. This does not mean you are low vibe. And so welcome this. See it as a gift, and as you do so, the faster you grow. For dear ones, it is always a gift. It is all God, source, and divine. And so with this, we leave you with the final remembrance of love. that you could not and can not mess this up. It is all serving, it is all supporting. And there are multiple paths to your highest truth and expansion. Do not let others dictate your journey or tell you there is only one way. Trust you are a creator, co-creating alongside spirit. Trust that you are here to do big things and trust that you here right now is simply enough. Breathe this in. Receive this love. And know that all is here to support you and this collective ascension. And with that, we welcome you into this next iteration of your chapter individually and collectively. And so it is. And so just inviting you to breathe that into the body, bring that into the spirit, the soul. We have such a beautiful opportunity here to step into a completely new way of living, a way of living that honors the heart, and allows the soul and the mind to guide us, but
but no longer leading from the brain and what we think makes logical sense, but really following what we feel and sense and know to be true within us. And when we do this, we're fanning the flame. We are like, imagine, imagine we have a fire. How do you grow this fire? You grow it through continually like gently blowing on it, blowing on it. And then as it continues to grow, there's less you have to do. And so then it just, it just becomes adding logs to the fire so that your fire continues to grow. And so wherever you're at in your fire making journey of deepening your own power and creation and co-creation with God's source divine, like whether it is gently blowing on the embers and, and creating this foundation or whether you are adding logs to create a bigger, more expansive and more abundant flame. Like do like, this is the invitation to really, really come into our power and truth and know that we have literally the most, the, the power that creates worlds and cosmos is within all of us. And we forget this so often. And I think it was really beautiful what um, what they shared about like sharing your journey and using social media for light, for good. Like if you feel called, of course, but yes, there's tons of darkness in the world and there's tons of darkness on social media, but we can literally raise the vibration of it. It was so wild as I was, like measuring the level of consciousness of social media, I was getting such wild answers and they were like, you can't measure it because there is such high light, people who are sharing such high light. And then of course, the the platforms themselves that are not rooted in light. But as you raise the light of what you put into the platform, you are raising the frequency of the platform. And that to me was just so like, wow, we have the power to do that. And so, you know, if you feel called to share your journey, share your experience, share what feels good to you. And also knowing that like when these things happen in the world, because they're going to continue to happen, you're going to know where you're of best service. You're going to know if you're going to be of best service by helping or by supporting those who are helping, but simply indulging in the fear, we got to, we got to nix that one. It's just not supporting anyone or anything. Okay. But really there's so much abundance here to be had, to be experienced, to be witnessed, to be known, to be felt and to be anchored into the body. There is going to be such mm, a coming home to who we are, a deeper. And when we come home to who we are, we remember our power, our strength, our truth that we can create anything. So with that, I am wishing you so much abundance of love, joy, expansion, and coming home to who you are. If you want more support in this, I highly recommend getting into the miracle frequency, sending miracles through your entire year. This is how we start on a really good note. And if you're ready for deeper expansion and deeper fulfillment, that's where one-on-one -on -one work comes into play, where we do energy work, energy healing. We do hypnotherapy. We do whatever the guides bring forth that is going to support you and your highest ascension and your highest growth. I see your blind spots so that you don't have to sit in the dark with them. And so if that calls to you and feels good to you, definitely apply below. And with that, listen to this as many times as feels good. As I shared, there's an encoded wisdom and encoded somatic remembrance that is available for all of us within it. It's going to be a really good year and there's also going to be challenges, but challenges are all part of the process. And so no longer seeing challenges as like, what did I do wrong? And seeing them as thank you. How, what is this showing me? And that's 
When we see things as that, we literally alchemize them. <laughs> we literally alchemize them. And so with that, my loves, I am sending you all infinite love and light.